Hi guys! Last video I made some little paper wallets out of magazine pages. If you didn't see that, I'll put the link in the comments box below. I also showed this one as an example. This one I just used a blank photocopy page that had been coffee dyed. So if you didn't see these and you haven't checked out that other video, they, they're just little paper wallets to pop into pockets in your junk journals. And they've got eight pockets. So when you open them, there's a pocket here. I need something else. Look at this. There's a pocket there. There's a pocket in the front. So two pockets here. Same on the other side. So two, four pockets there. Then... There's a pocket here and a pocket here. Then if you flip it to the spine, there's also a pocket here and a pocket here. So eight pockets. Anyway, I thought I would make some more of these and decorate a few with you. I wasn't going to show it again because I've already shown how to fold them. But I got started and I thought, why not? Anyway, this was blank photocopy paper that was blank on both sides. Um, I don't have a lot of blank photocopy paper. As you know, I'm a recycler, so I don't buy new papers. So most of my paper, uh, my photocopy paper comes from my husband's work, uh, their recycle bin in the photocopy room. So this is the non-confidential <laughs> recycle bin. So it's got, uh, you know, printing on one side. Some pages might just have like a print, one printed line up the top or bottom, you know, when you print over a page. But um, yeah, it's still good to use, you know, if you back tags and stuff like that. You only need one side. Anyway, so I decided I would make some with those because... Most of them are blank on one side, and the writing actually doesn't bother me. So, I will show you quickly how to refold them. Not refold them, fold them. Okay, so this one. I always just recheck to make sure there's nothing confidential. Okay, so you can see it's printed one side. I've photocopied a whole bunch of these. Now you start with your blank blank page. I'm only I'll quickly show you how to make two because I've already shown how to fold them. They're very easy. So I don't want to make a whole bunch on camera. I just want to decorate a whole bunch. Okay, so fold up the bottom. I usually fold mine about a centimetre. It doesn't have to be exactly a centimetre. It can be a little more, a little less. It, it really doesn't matter. This folded side is this pocket here and this pocket. And that's just so that the pocket's a bit sturdier. You don't just have that single page edge, which can rip when you... Um, keep taking things in and out of the pocket anyway so fold up that edge fold up the other end again doesn't matter how much just about a centimeter Okay, oops, then fold that in half, I cannot see the halfway line, oop, bit of glue there, fold it in half, open it, now I want the blank on the outside. And the writing on the inside. Where's the other one? Oh, 
<laughs> Where's one with writing? This one. So I want the writing on the inside and the blank on the outside. So when you fold it, put the outside page face down. So I folded that over. So my inside is on top. Okay, then fold this to the halfway crease. Fold the other end to the halfway crease. So now you've got this. Then just fold each corner up to that first crease line that you just made. Turn it around, do the same at the other end. Okay, so now you've got this. Now just close those two folds up. And you're left with this. Okay, flip that over. And now fold up to, you've got a V there, fold up to that little V. Whoops. Turn it around and do the same at the other end. left with this okay see this one I didn't fold it right to the top so I'm going to put that one underneath because this one goes further up then tuck those under I just get a you know a cre an old credit card or something and Push it under. And there you have your little pocket. So, super easy. Now, I should have mentioned before you tuck this under, just uh, ink your edges if you want them inked. I've inked all of my edges, but... You don't have to if you don't want to. It's just easier. I mean, you can ink them now, but it's just easier to do it before you tuck that under. And there you've got your little pocket. Okay, so I won't fold another one because I've already done that a thousand times. And I've already folded a whole bunch. Okay, so these are all printed on one side. But if you're lucky, sometimes you won't see the printing on the inside. That one you can. I actually don't mind the printing showing. I, I, um, I'm a bit of a true junker in that sometimes I like to see that it's junk when I make junk journals. So, yeah, the printing actually doesn't worry me. But if it bothers you, just use uh, plain, plain blank paper with um, no printing on it. Anyway, so... I have just been um, embellishing these, the couple that I've done, just with little scraps on my desk and a postage stamp. So I've pulled out just a little pile at random of postage stamps that have been washed off the paper. That reminds me, somebody did ask me to do a video how I get the backing paper off the stamps. Um, and I said I would do a video and I actually just forgot until now. So I will do a video. <laughs> I should write these things down, shouldn't I? But um, yes, yeah, sorry, I whoever that was, I can't remember your name, but I will do a video on it. There's probably videos out there, but I'll show you my little method. 
Um, I've also got some pictures of stamps. This is out of a, a stamp catalogue. Where is it? Over here. Stanley Gibbon Stamp Catalogue. 1980 edition. It's only 80, but it looks so old. I've already pulled it apart. But look, isn't it gorgeous? I love these black and white catalogues. I picked this up at a second-hand store um, last year sometime. Actually, I only went to an op shop a, a couple of times last year, maybe two three times tops I think only twice this year um I decided no buying even from op shops so <laughs> I'm going to um I'm going to just use what I have this year I've also got these little um I don't know if they're faux postage stamps, but um, Kirsten from Penny Rose Journals had sent them in a happy mail or an order. I can't remember which, but um, they've been kicking around on my desk for a little while, so I thought I would use those as well. My scraps that I'm using <laughs> is just this crap. <laughs> um, yeah, this tray of crap. I have a few of these and it's when I say it's crap it is it's like ridiculous stupid little pieces um, I've got another box that I've been working out of bigger pieces but anyway I want to get rid of them this year well I want to get my scraps on my desk at least under control but I say that every year don't I I better get making stuff okay so i've just pulled out a box of <laughs> crud at ramped random let me um move this over stamps real stamps pictures from a catalog some faux stamps that were sent to me and some papers now i normally just pull a little handful out of the crap paper box because Otherwise, if you've got too much choice, I don't know, you may not do it, but I do. If I've got too much choice, I will pick through it looking for that perfect piece. I just like to pick up and glue that baby down. So, what have I got here? Oh, gosh, absolute crap. This is... um. Get on with it, you say. Oh, here's some little butterflies that have been kicking around as well. Just stamped on some little scraps of brown paper. I'll use those as well. These were some old phone bills that I ripped up. And when I use paint and I wash my paintbrushes, I usually reuse that coloured water at the end. So... I've got a centre table in my craft room that I do coffee dyeing and painting and stuff on. And I've got a box of junk papers that I've just ripped up. So when I, whenever I was bringing junk papers into my room, like old phone bills or oh, could be anything, a voting pamphlet that's blank on one side or whatever, it's an old school note, whatever it is, sometimes I just rip it up and I chuck it in that box and then... Whenever I'm finished with painting water, instead of tipping it down the sink or on the grass out the back, I just um, <laughs> splatter it into that box. So um, it ends up all grungy and murky and muddy. I know a lot of people don't like when paint you mix paint colours and it goes muddy, but I actually like it. I think it's interesting. <laughs> it looks nice. So I've got a few papers out of that box that I will use as well. I call that my paper salad. Actually, I think I did do a video on it one day, but I just didn't upload it. I'm I'm uh, terrible for 
videoing and not uploading. Okay, with my little pockets, I like the one at the front to be on the bottom. Otherwise, when you put stuff in, you know, it's just going to fall out. So that's the front. And you don't even have to decorate these. I just, um, I just want to decorate them because it's easier to show what is the front. You know, when they're just like this, you can't tell what's the front and the back. So we were having a laugh this morning, Darren and I, because <laughs> for the past few months, I don't know, he keeps remembering stupid stuff. Um, if I do something that's a bit like cheeky or naughty or something, he'll always have to remind me of something else that was cheeky or naughty that I did um, in the past. I don't know why, but... Anyway, last, a month or two ago, he was out mowing the grass and <laughs> he had moved the bird baths out of the way. And when he moved the bird baths back onto the grass and he was filling them up with the hose, he kind of got sprinkled by some water from the hose. Anyway, for some reason, that... um. That sprinkling of water he got reminded him of a few other times <laughs> that I, that he... Well, it reminded him of one thing that I did that got him wet. And then, for some reason, he went off on this big speech about these other things, stupid things that I had done. So, yeah, I get in trouble for doing something. <laughs> Years later, I'm in trouble again. Anyway, what he remembered was, don't ask me how getting sprinkled by the hose while you're filling up a bird bath after mowing the grass, don't ask me how this reminds you, don't ask me how that reminds you of this, but years ago when we were young, I mean, we were like, I don't know, 20 or something. We were we were down Bundina. If if you live in uh, Sydney, you you probably know Bundina Weir. Anyway, we were down Bundina Weir, and I don't know if they still have it now, but back then they used to have canoeing down there, and um, so we were canoeing, and and of course, and it was a two two man canoe, and I was at the back, and of course I was being you know I'm a bit of a joker you may not know that from my channel but I'm a little bit of a shit stirrer I, I will admit um anyway I was mucking around and I was like you know swaying the canoe side to side like that like you know really rough and he's like buddy stop it you're gonna tip us out and um of course that made me laugh even more and try and shit stir him up even more. And so, so I was, you know, tipping it quite roughly and, oh, shock horror, yeah, <laughs> we tipped out and um, went into the water. And Bundina Weir, it's like <laughs> this little, it, the water is uh, like, you know, really dark green lake water and... We always used to say that there were eels in there. Look, we don't. I don't know if there's eels in there, but we always said there were eels in there. And in, anyway, for some reason, <laughs> eels in the water always scared us. Anyway, so I'm rocking the canoe like this, and he's yelling at me, "Bonnie, stop it! You're gonna tip tip us out." And of course, we we tipped out, <laughs> and and so. He's sprinkling the water and, yeah, he remembered that time. And so he starts going on, I oh, remember when you tipped us out of the canoe at Bundina. And I'm like, why are you remembering that? Like, why are you annoyed at that? You've already been annoyed at that. Don't be annoyed about that all over again. 
Anyway, and so I was laughing about it, which kind of <laughs> got him shitty. And so because I thought that was really funny, you know, 30 years later. <laughs> so then he, um, he's like, oh, you're always doing stupid stuff. Remember when? And then he just started like bringing up these uh, things that I have done over the past. And anyway, he had one of those moments this morning where he again remembered something and had to bring it up and it just makes me laugh because he gets so annoyed about it but I just think it's funny <laughs> oh, me laughing about it I think that makes him even more annoyed anyway so yeah we went in the water at Bundina Weir everyone was looking at us because you don't swim in Bundina <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's um yeah you don't go in the water there I've got a lot of these little queen queen stamps about time I use some up Anyway, this morning he was um, remembering that from a month ago. And um, we were kind of laughing. He does have a laugh about it later, but it's just funny because he, he gets annoyed at stuff I've, <laughs> I've done years ago. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at all these little junk papers. I don't even know where to start. Sorry, this is probably going to really, really bore you. Normally I'd sit and do this off camera, but um, you know me with filming. I never film, so I thought I'm going to put the camera on for once. Don't like that one there. Ooh, this this is encyclopedia page. A coffee dyed some they turned out really good that time. Okay, don't like that straight edge. Now I said in um in a video I can't remember which one. A couple of videos ago, I, I kind of joked that I should do a use it till it's gone series. So you pick one thing and you use it up. You keep making stuff out of that until it's gone. I should totally do this, shouldn't I? Use up all the crud out of this until it's gone. But that, that would probably... Um, drive you a wee bit crazy seeing video after video of me gluing and sewing little scraps because that's probably all I do with it. Let's put that there. How many days of making stuff would it take me to use up this whole tray? What do you reckon? Look, there's a lot of little bits in there. Could I do it? 
I don't know, that might be like a year's worth of videos for me because I'm so slow filming. Actually, I'm not really that slow filming. I just never upload them. I might stick this guy on top. I wasn't planning on um, doing many layers on these or a lot of work. I just want to stick bits down. Okay, what have we got so far? Yeah, I'm not sold on this one. I think you need something else. Okay, next. Another one? Oh. So in my last video I said when I made those magazine paper wallets, the magazine page ones, I said that there was another type that's more like, you know, your traditional men's wallet that you put the paper notes in. Um, yeah, I can't get it. I've been trying to fold it and I just can't remember how we folded them get rid of this page I've like sat there folding so many magazine pages just ad hoc here and there whenever I feel like it and I've kind of come close but I, I just um yeah, I just can't remember how to fold it, so maybe I should search YouTube. I'm sure some... Look, there's probably a video out there. I just... I never search for stuff. I always just go off and make whatever I feel like. But I'm sure somebody's probably done it out there already. I gave it a try. We also used to make a lot of little origami um, animals and stuff like that, but I don't know how we made them as kids because I just completely cannot remember how I did them or how we did them. This is the edges of, you know, that old computer printer paper? Sell from the paper outpost sent me some not the paper just the strips because she knows I'm a recycler and um so I, I coffee dyed it all I oh, wait did I say the purple outpost purple outhouse I'll put the link to Cell's channel down below she's doing some mixed media stuff at the moment which is she's she's just naturally gifted at that sort of thing like she's very creative I don't like the selection of stamps I pulled out. I just grabbed a little bundle at random. And I did that so that I would not shuffle through looking for the exact perfect stamp for that spot. Because, you know, there is <laughs> never a perfect something. 
there's always one that's better so there's no point looking for the perfect stamp I think I'm a bit cross-eyed today look at that okay Use that guy. Whoops. Sometimes the simplest is the best. Isn't that cute? Just that. There was one that I ripped um, because I was so rough. That one. Actually, I'll put a little piece of paper there. Now, this one, when I see I've got a little bit of a crinkle there because I've folded it uneven somewhere. And I was trying to push it down with my credit card, but I've ripped somewhere there on the side <laughs> went straight through the edge so instead of ditching it I'm going to just bandage it up can I yes Now, with that story about the the uh, Bundina Weir, when I accidentally tipped us in, I should add from that, <laughs> he also then was like, oh, it's... It's just like the time... That was just like the time. So he's already... He splashed himself with water from the bird bath. Then he's brought up, somehow remembered me dropping us into the weir because, you know, they're so connected. Um, then from that, he then brought up, oh, that was just like the time you got us stuck in the elevator. <laughs> and, okay, the elevator story is... Years ago, we were going to see, don't remember if it was my dad or grandmother in hospital. Anyway, so we're at St. George or Canterbury Hospital. I can't remember. Anyway, we're at the hospital. We get in the lift and no one was in there. And there was a big sign on the wall of the lift. And it said, do not rock the lift or do not shake the lift or something bizarre like that and I was like what a weird thing to have a sign like who's shaking and rocking lifts <laughs> so so yeah okay of course I had to rock the lift so the only way to rock the lift is to jump <laughs> so I'm like what do they mean do not rock the lift or do not shake the lift or whatever it was I can't remember just some weird sign getting into the lift and then um actually it might have been at Concord Hospital I can't I can't remember anyway if you're in Sydney and you've been to a hospital <laughs> 10 15 years ago you you may remember <laughs> seeing a sign like that anyway I thought what a weird thing to put in the lift like Usually you get in a lift and you select your floor and go to it. I, I just thought, and it was such a big, bold sign. I just thought it was very strange. So anyway, Darren and I had a laugh about it. So 
of course, you know, like you have to, I had to <laughs> rock the lift or shake it. So I, ju I jumped up and down in the lift and I was laughing and Darren was like, stop it, Bonnie, stop it, Bonnie. He's like freaking out because he freaks out with stuff like that. He can't even go on a, on a merry-go-round. <laughs> without like a kid's merry-go-round without getting scared and you know of course when we go to fun parks and stuff I used to always put him on um you know the scariest rides possible anyway so I'm, I'm jumping up and down in the lift and and he was saying stop it stop it which was making me like die die laughing you know just like the canoe and um and then the, the lift stopped <laughs> and then it just stopped like there's no alarm no nothing it just stops and we're just standing there and so we had to press the and the you know we're pressing the buttons to go to different floors or open the door and of course it's not opening and so we had no option but to press the <laughs> emergency button <laughs> and then we were like in there for about 15 minutes and then it just started up and went to our floor like no one came and opened the doors or anything I don't know if someone did something in the background but anyway it just started up and we went to our floor and <laughs> he was like whinging about it it was so funny like so funny I can't even explain how funny anyway So, yeah, bird bath led to Bundina Weir, <laughs> led to jumping in the lift. <laughs> uh, anyway, it was very funny. So this morning, somehow he remembered again about us, well, me laughing about that last month. And I'm like, but, but, <laughs> we've already, I've already got in trouble for that, <laughs> like, 20 years ago 30 years ago and then we laughed about it last month like why are you remembering it now it's just uh he's on this memory lane trip honestly it's quite funny <laughs> oh dear anyway and i didn't even do anything naughty this morning i was actually like this good girl for some reason he just remembered last month remembering 30 years ago <laughs> oh gosh oh this was from um some old <laughs> um papers from when i used to do tutoring of maths this was um simultaneous equations Anyway, those were the days. I don't do many stupid stuff, stupid things like that anymore because well, we don't go to many exciting places now, I must say. You know, we don't go canoeing or... <laughs> well, I would. It's just he won't. Oh, gosh, if I got in a canoe now, I'd probably sink it with my big bum. But, yeah, Darren, he's not... Not naturey or adventurous, can I just say. He's a city boy. And they tend to be a bit boring, don't they? Mind you, I'm a city girl, but I kind of feel <laughs> like a country girl. Like I should have been born and raised in the country. Okay, anyway, I think I've I've bored you enough gluing little bits down and telling stupid old stories. I might um, 
I might just continue with this off camera and then I'll come back to show you my finished ones. They're all the same, little scraps glued down. Okay, I will, oh, actually, no. Forget what I just said. I've only got two left. Oh my gosh, I've probably been blabbering for three hours. Okay, I might as well just do these two and bore you for another five minutes. How about that? I always feel like I have not used up any scraps when I've been digging about my little scrap box. Probably because I haven't. I didn't even use all these stamps and stuff up. I just can't lay out two, like, two little kind of focal points. And I can't push one into the background. I don't know why. You know who does that really well? Um, Marja from Remnants Remade. She does the cutest little um, the cutest little collages and little collage books and stuff from from scrap. She's like a true recycler, and. I like that she can put, you know, two things down that would normally be a focal point. Or she can put more than one thing down. And they blend so that, you know, one isn't, I don't know, one's kind of pushed to the background and one becomes the focal point. But I, I can't seem to do that. See, no matter what I put, I feel like something is not quite right see to me this is too white in the background this is too little and too brown maybe I could do that and but then I overthink it I think what's the butterfly got to do with the queen <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> I don't know why I feel like they need to be related it's so stupid. But go check out Marge's channel. She's um she's really creative. I I just love her little especially her little Constantina books she does. Just teeny little ones out of just scraps. Scraps, magazine pages, random um papers and She's got that natural eye for collaging. Okay, that one I'm a bit more happy with, but I feel that the queen jumps out at me too much. Okay, lucky last. I have not used paper doilies in I don't even remember how long this must be must have been kicking around forever now on the last one I do want to use this butterfly because it's been on my desk <laughs> for a few months yes I finally got rid of them is there a stamp I can put there how is it that I picked all of the vertical stamps
see I would love to put that there but I just can't do it but I can do it but I don't want to but I will <laughs> because I hate when something's covered up I don't know why I have issues okay there I did it it's a little bit ugly though isn't it okay that's it look how many I did goody goody I got rid of a zip, a zero chunk. Oh, I wanted to use these up as well, Kirsten. Anyway, let's have a look at what I've done. Let me stand up because I can't see what you're seeing. Okay. See, I oh, thank you. Actually, I don't mind this one now that I've looked at it again. Little bits of scraps. That was the one from last video. This one needs something more on it. So does this one. Okay, that's it. I hope you make some and um, you'll see these popping up in journals here and there. And that's it. Thanks for watching.